Ciao everyone, I'm Rosella Rago from Cooking with Nonna. Spring has sprung and I cannot think of a better way to celebrate than with dessert. So today I'm going to be making my famous lemon mascarpone tart. And it's really, really simple, really easy, and it's no bake. So I don't like bacon crusts. I tried it a couple times, it doesn't really work out for me. Maybe one day I'll, I'll really sit and do them and you know, do the blunt, put the beans in it like my grandmother does, but I don't do any, everything like Nona does. I'm not Nona. So I'm gonna make it the way I wanna make it. Very, very easy, very quick. You probably have all this stuff already. If you don't, just you know, go buy a couple things, it's fine. So we're gonna start a no-bake crust. And a no-bake crust is really simple. It's basically just ground cookies and uh, a little bit of melted butter. So the idea is that it sets in the refrigerator and the butter hardens like butter does at, at a cold temperature. It becomes hard. And it forms your crust really, really beautifully. You don't even need to bake it. So I'm going to start with some marguerite cookies. These are about 12 ounces, but if you want full measurements and the complete recipe, just head over to cookingwithnona.com and we have that all for you right there. But I'm just starting with some cookies. These are Stella Doro cookies. Who doesn't, who doesn't remember Stella Doro cookies, right? I love me some Stella Doro cookies. These are the marguerite cookies. You can use the S cookies. If you don't have these or can't find them, usually everybody can, you can use some vanilla wafers, you can use graham crackers, you can use whatever cookie makes you comfortable. I just really like the vanilla sense of these. I think it goes really, really well with the lemon uh, tart. So we're going to start with our cookies. Then we have, of course, some melted butter. We have some mascarpone cheese. We have some fresh lemon curd that I just made earlier today when we shot the fresh lemon curd video. Um, but if you don't have fresh lemon curd, you can certainly use store-bought. I personally love using fresh lemon curd in this recipe because I can control how much sugar is in it. Usually those store-bought lemon curds are just so, so sweet. And I really want you to taste the lemon flavor above all. And I have some fresh raspberries just to decorate. You don't have to use raspberries either. You can use strawberries. You can use any other kind of fruit that you want. So let's get started. I have my food processor over here. And I'm going to add all the cookies to the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can just put them in a blender, maybe in a couple different stages. You can put them in a bag, in a big plastic Ziploc bag, and just hit them with a rolling pin or anything else. The important thing is to get them down to a really nice, fine grind. You almost want a flour out of these cookies. And if you have a Vitamix, a Vitamix is like the Cadillac of blenders, one of those high-powered commercial blenders, this will be even better in that because you're going to get such a, a wonderful dust out of these cookies. So I am going to start running this. You want to go about 30, 40 seconds until it looks really, really fine to you. Let me see. Sometimes there's always that one giant chunk of cookie that gets stuck, and you're never going to get it, so just take, just eat it. Just let it go. Okay, I got another couple seconds. Okay. Okay, this is perfect. This is a really perfect, if you want to see, this is great. This is dust. Now, at this point, I have my melted butter here. And you could totally take this out and do this in a bowl. I kind of like to do it right in the food processor. I just think it's a little bit easier and it gets incorporated better. It just mixes better. So I'm going to add my melted butter right to my ground cookies. I'm going to turn it back on. About 10 seconds. So you'll be able to see when it starts to totally incorporate that there won't be like a separation of dry cookies and wet cookies. That is perfect. I'm going to remove the blade. Put that right here. 
and this looks amazing. So I'm going to go right into our 11 inch chart pan with these. Just get them all out with your fingers. And this kind of has the texture of wet sand, you know, when you're at the beach, when you're a little kid and you're making a sand castle and you got to wet the sand. That's exactly what this feels like. And if it's just feeling a little bit dry for you, you can go ahead and add a little bit more melted butter. That's more of a preference thing. Oh, sorry. That's more of a preference thing, but you don't really need to. So I'm going to start with my hands just pressing this in. And you want to make sure it's as even as possible. And you want to go all up on the sides, too. Now, here, a lot of people will take a glass, like the, a straight bottom of a, of a water glass, and kind of press it around. I don't really need to do that. I, I never do, and it always works out fine. Just press it down with your palm and work it towards the outer edges. Because you want it to go all up into the edges of your tart pan so it has that nice scalloped outside. This is so wonderful for the holidays or if you're going to visit someone it's gonna look like you spent hours making something and it really is so quick and you can totally make this really far in advance like the day before leave it in the fridge make the filling the day of and just put it all together comes out really really nice and solid once it sets up in the fridge and if you're in a pinch and you don't have quite as much time just throw it in the freezer and in about 15 20 minutes it's done in the fridge I would, I would let it go for like a half hour 45 but it really does set really quickly actually in the time it takes to make the filling it's usually totally set Okay, so this is beautifully pressed into our tart pan. Our crust is ready. Let's go right into the fridge or the freezer. Depends on how much time you have. Someone's calling you and you're like, oh my God, yeah, I'm like five minutes away. You're still making the crust. You know, I understand. Just put it in the freezer. Don't worry about it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to pop this right into the fridge, and while it's setting, we're going to make the filling. So while our crust is firming up, I'm going to go ahead and make our filling that is super, super simple. All I have is some mascarpone cheese, and if you don't know what mascarpone cheese is, it is cream cheese's sexy Italian cousin. And I have my fresh lemon curd that I made this morning. And if you want to learn how to make the fresh lemon curd, just click the link below because we have a video for that. And the recipe is totally on cookingwithnona.com. Now, like I said, you can really just buy the curd, but to me, this comes out so much better with fresh lemon curd. I'm just going to combine the two. Just make sure they're both room temperature, very important. You don't want to curdle the, the mascarpone, then it's a mess, you got to throw it out, it's expensive, who has the time for that? So, just get this together. And I'm going to go in with a hand mixer. You just want to combine. And voila, this is your filling. That's it. How easy is that? So I'm going to put this to the side right here, and I'm going to go get our crust that has been firming up in the cold. And here it is. It's nice and cold, nice and firm. And I'm just going to go in. Gorgeous. This is great. There we go. And I'm going to get an offset spatula just to uh, start smoothing it out. Because I like to make, you don't have to, but I like to make a little bit of a design in the center of it. Just so it's extra pretty. You don't have to make anything extra pretty. Rustic. My extra pretty is like a professional's rustic. So it really, you know, it doesn't matter. 
gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love the light yellow color. I think it's really nice for spring. Just makes you happy to look at it. Okay. So before I decorate this, I'm going to make sure it's evenly inside the crust. This is a perfect amount. Look at how perfect this is. And I'm just going to level it off with the rub with the uh, offset spatula and then I'm going to go like that back and forth back and forth back and forth just so you get some nice lines in there some you know a little controlled chaos cuz it doesn't have to be perfect absolutely not and don't worry too much about the borders because you're going to put the raspberries anywhere so if there's a line you know, like the line just go right back over it, like I'm doing. Make them bigger, make them smaller. There you go. Put that right here. And then my raspberries, any other kind of fruit is totally fine. I'm going to go really simple on this. And I'm going to go two lines, two little rows of raspberries. And this is ready to go back into the fridge or even the freezer. This just needs to firm up a little bit and like I said, it will get nice and solid and it will be totally perfect. So we're going to wait until it's all firmed up and then we're going to show you what it looks like out of the mold. Okay, so our lemon mascarpone tart is all set up and perfect and this is what it looks like when you're all finished. So this can go right into a box, right to somebody's house, to their table, and when you cut into it, it's gonna be dreamy and lemony and delicious. So I am so glad you guys learned how to make my no-bake lemon mascarpone tart. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.